Hey, Hannah, this is it's not gonna go well for you, Hannah. I'd just like to say you're done. All right, good morning, Wasteland. Mr. G bringing myself some coffee, you some cross out, and what do we have today? It is build competition time here on the channel, which means you guys submitted a bunch of builds for a theme, and the theme this time was wide open. It was military themed vehicles and you guys made a ton of entries it was really hard making cuts but here's what we're going with and if you're going hey how do i do a build competition with you mr g please join the discord links in the description you can find all the events we run on the channel in there let's get to it we got t9528 coming from ladislav comrade you can only imagine that it's a vector with a toe buried in there somewhere we got FPZ SDKFZ588F Kablan, which I can only imagine is some sort of German World War II vehicle. I like that it has ducks manning both the guns. It's lovely. I dig it. It's cool. Nice use of decor items. That one coming from Kablan. We got a Harrier 2 by uh, JF7, so that's cool. We got, you know, the Harrier is one of those planes that can take off and land vertically, which is pretty rad. We got A39 Tortoise coming from Echo Frost Art, which looks like a big Russian tank thing of some kind. I dig the exhaust ports as like little machine guns. That's a cool little touch. I dig that. We got DG Seawolf by Danger Soul. So we got a submarine. Seawolf was one of the first games I ever got on PC back on like my Pentium 2 or Gateway 486. It's a little bit of nostalgia there. I dig it. The coupler as a decor item. I like it. We got a twin Spitfire. This thing coming from Berkey Turkey. He's hitting some wasps there in the middle. This is really cool. You actually made this for another comp and I forgot to download it. And I got messed up so I'm really glad you brought it back. Really clever use of propellers with the radars. I dig it. Uh, we got Landing Craft. This thing coming from Racing Liam. And it was ported over by Sergeant Sparkles and Dark Guardian. So thank you guys. Um, because Racing Liam plays on, I believe, PlayStation. So we have some people to help you out, and they will put your builds on PC for me if they're really good. So this is a landing craft. We got APC Reaper. Uh, this one coming from French Toad. Looks like it's a Reaper and an APC. We got an M12 uh, or M1A2 SEP Abrams tank. All right, very cool. And you've got some tactical birches on the back. Uh, a lot of details went into that one. I dig it. I dig it. Nice use of the small tracks uh, on that one. We got Gia Ford Pygmy 40. This looks like an old World War II Willys Jeep. Fun fact, you used to be able to order a kit and they would mail you the parts and you could assemble these things. Uh, in fact, I learned to drive a stick on an old World War II uh, Willys Jeep that my dad found in the barn and fixed up. It was a beater, but man, three gears and high and low range on your four-wheel drive cool old rig uh, and lastly we've got breakout ops this one coming from goliath gamer now we have one more section which is the leviathan category so we got a few leviathan builds we're going to just take in the test drive and judge purely on aesthetics we got the is4 by neem tepst which is some sort of gigantic looks like a Looks like an IS-4, which is a Russian tank. Silly me, my world of tanks is coming back. We got USS Monstro by Toxic Insanity. Looks like a big, gigantic submarine, like maybe a missile sub. Yep, it's got the hurricanes in there. We got Trench uh, Crawler by Sergeant Sparkles himself, the guy that runs all these build competitions and does all the hard work for you guys, uh, coming up with ideas and organizing your builds. So big hat off to Sergeant Sparkles. And we got Missile Cruiser uh, by Berkey Turkey, which looks like exactly what it says it's a cruiser so very cool all right we're gonna pick um, we're gonna pick one winner though from both categories and that is gonna be tough but first we're gonna take all these out for drives and test drives and do what we do on this channel which is drive art builds into combat let's do it all right guys here we go in t9528 by ladislav comrade and Having some serious struggles with the interwebs today. But hopefully we can make this one work. Right, can we can we tow somebody? Can we tow somebody? Anybody? Is this a guy? Oh that was so close. So close, yet so far. Come on, G. Oh, I wish 
you could get an ability that let the toe turn a little bit sharper. Um, I'm guessing we don't really want to be out here when we've got the toe operating. Not ideal. Alright, let's see what we can do. Nope, where's the... nope. Let's blow off the armor here and go full speed. Okay, what do we got? What do we got? Somebody up. You know what? Let's just... Let's just go, cat. Why not? Oh, God. That's everybody. Don't know what I was thinking there. Wasn't really thinking. This is not Ladislav. I'm, a, I'm apologizing to you for this driving, because it's just awful. Abs I don't even know what I was doing. Capture points here, G. This part, yeah, let's at least provide some benefit to the team. We'll just we'll park here. It's totally fine. Totally fine, and we're done. Sorry, Lattice, I'm going to do better next round, I promise. All right, boys and girls, here we go in FPZ SD KFZ 588F by Kablan. It's got a crew of four ducks and two rapiers, and if I'm having really bad gameplay today, it's because it's been taking 10 minutes to get into a match, or I get in a match and the ping's so bad I can't use the footage, or the game cheat detection boots me because my internet's so cruddy today. So if Mr. G sounds a little frustrated or the quality of the gameplay is not the best, it's because this has been a real struggle to just have the game client work like it should. We got a guy with Porcos on our team. You're my new best friend. I'm gonna stay by you. Hey, Hannah, this is it's not gonna go well for you, Hannah. I'd just like to say you're done. Thanks, Porco guy. That's that's just really an evil build, friend. I mean, it's it's just cap cans and Porcos. That's that's just mean. And I've overheated. We gotta tap fire these. I never ever use auto cannons as a general rule. So you know we're struggling a little bit. All right, there's there's a kill though in auto cannons. And I'm loving these ducks on here so much, Cablan or Cabalan. Cabalan was the bad guy in Shakespeare's The Tempest, if I can remember correctly. I think I said the last time I used one of your belts, man. I gotta stop overheating these. Oh, he's got a car jack on there? Got a car jack on there? We just need better DPS for these. I feel like we do. You guys let me know what you think. Porco, bro. Alright, what do we got? What do we got? Oh, it's just tied up just about here. This is a cool looking build. The Echo Cab was a, was a good choice for this thing. It looks very, you know, Germany, late 1940s, so for sure. Okay, um, can we get him? We got him. This guy, let's get away from these turrets. Can we hit this guy? We gotta hit him, G. Can we take out some movement on this guy, slow him down? That's what we need to do, because he's just dropping turrets. But we're gonna hit the guy we can hit, and we're gonna grab ourselves. Hopefully, a win. There we go. We'll take two kills. Feeling better about ourselves now after that match that we had with Ladislav's build, which I still feel bad about. Well, oh, I thought this thing was the Echo Cab. It's not. It's just made to look like that with the parts from it. Well done. All right, here we go in Harrier 2 by the JF-7. It's one of those uh, a little bit older Navy aircraft that could do vertical takeoff. No, it wasn't Navy. They used an Army too because it could do vertical takeoff and landing, which is pretty cool. My brother actually worked on the Osprey, um, which had the rotating props, because um, he works as an engineer for uh, Department of Defense stuff. Now he's at Boeing. So he loves talking about vertical takeoff and landing uh, aircraft. This thing is cool and functional, man. I really am digging this JF-7. I'm digging it. Uh, we're getting wrecked, though, because it is indeed an art build. We're going to have to stay a little further. Even has the radar in the nose uh, like a real plane. I sh okay, what do we do? We whoa, 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 whoa. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> we got a kill, guys. Did you see it? Did you see it? We did. We did. Wait for it, wait for it. We get a few rounds off on that guy. No, 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 no. <laughs> Get some law, get some pyres off on that guy, and even got a Colossus for the reload. We'll grab an assist, and now we're gonna die. We are definitely, definitely gonna die. We gotta kill. You guys saw it. 
All right, here we go in A39 Tortoise by Echo Frost Art. We're gonna charge the tsunami up. Is this thing looks like a Russian tank. Somebody tell me who made it. Um, great attention to detail. Good use of Steppenwolf parts. And those Goliath tracks fit in there just beautifully. All right, let's do it. Oh, we even got a scope. Nice. My manhole cover on there for that couple hatches. A lot of attention to detail in this thing. I'm digging it. Can we hit this guy? Not if we shoot like that. We can't. G. Maybe stop. Stop moving. Maybe. That no. What was that a miss? Can we hit Robin at least? There it is. I am not used to using a scope. And you get tunnel vision really badly. I recommend not overdoing using scopes because you're gonna not see what's going on around you and. The problem I'm having here is the limited firing angle, because the regular Tsunami has a limited firing angle, but the effect of this build means it's even more limited. This thing's like a tank destroyer, so it's just super limited. Couldn't have given us a cord or something on here, man? I feel like I could use a cord right now. Can we Can we get him? Just ram him. Boom! <laughs> there you go. That's that. Okay. Nikki. I can't, I can't hit you because I can't aim down in this build. So not ideal. We get a little further away from our enemies, I guess. Um, wait for it. Wait for it, wait for it. There we go. There we go. Okay, all right, all right. Can we hit her? Yes, we can. That's two kills in a build that's impossible to aim. So, you know what? Good for you, G. I'm gonna pat myself on the- If we hit anyone else, I'm gonna be impressed. Alright, wait, 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 wait. Can we- This guy? Winged him. Three Kikasis. You're- Dude. Not- Nobody likes you. Don't do that build. I've done that build. I've done- Nobody likes G either. It's okay. Um... Alright, we're, oh, we're hitting him. Can we ram him? Can we ram him for the kill? Nope, but we'll take an assist. This guy. And we lost... No, we have a tsunami. Is it just not low? We're out of bullets. Are you kidding me? Did you forget to put ammo on this thing? You didn't leave... <sighs> we can see the inside now, guys. Absolutely gorgeous. He didn't give me any ammo, you got. Oh, Echo Frost. We're gonna have to talk about this. We're gonna have to talk about this. Boom. Take that. Alright, so Baby G is broken into my studio. But right now we are on DG Seawolf by Danger Soul. And it's like a gunboat? Or it's a... I think it's a submarine. I'm thinking... What do you think, Baby G? You think submarine? She's... I'm thinking submarine. It's definitely... Definitely sub... What are you doing back there, Baby G? She is doing watercolors this morning, so she is requesting clean waters for her watercolors, which I would have had it done already, this recording, but the internet has been not cooperating today, so I am way late on my recording here. This thing is really, 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 really slow. Is there anybody we can shoot? Yes. Younger G should not be hitting anybody, but he's not. Um, baby G just makes that up anytime she's frustrated with her brother. Any one of you guys that have kids, you get this. Why am I going across here by myself? Whole team's dead. Pretty much, I can't, nope, can't shoot that way. That guy's doing who knows what with his short range weapons at extremely long range. We're gonna go get killed by these bros. That's, here we go. This is fine. Let me just overheat these guns. No? Can we? Don't mind me and my boat. Submarine boat thing, guys. It's totally fine. No? No? You? Really? This guy. Here we go. Oh, this isn't going to end well. Yeah, that that's not... That's the build I just did a video on the other day. So this is karma, I think, guys. Well... We're just, we're, this is fine. We're here. Yep, finish the job, buddy. GG. 
Alright guys, a little out of breath, doing some dadding. Here we go in Twin Spitfire by Berkey Turkey. And it's... It's Twin Spitfires. And some cloak. And, uh, wasps. I was thinking, those aren't pyres. Nope. Those are wasps. Mr. G is just all over the place today, guys. So apologies for that. Can we hit a bot? I have not used wasps in a long time. Great weapons, though. One of the first weapons that I got as a blue and started doing decent with in this game. You can go watch my really old wasp tank that I built. It is back before I had a good microphone and my audio was really bad. Like my very first rocket tank or whatever. I don't remember what it was called. Pretty old. I'm treating these like crickets. No, they don't do more damage at long range. Kill the human players. Well, I can hit this one. All right, all right, all right. I'm getting the human player. I'm trying. I'm try we got him. We got him, we got him, we got him. We're going to run out of ammo. Which is... JF7's in here. We just did your build, JF7. We just did your build. And it was absolutely beautiful. And there he is in match against us today. And we are going to run out of ammo. We are going to run out of ammo. No, Joshua. <laughs> oh, friend. Take it. Take it. I got two rounds left. Oh. It's not mine, friendo. It's not mine. And this one is... Berkey Turkey. And thank you, though, Mr. Squire. Okay. Got to give credit where credit is due. JF7, I'm out of... He's got a scorpion. Oh, naughty, naughty. You're doing a warthog? <laughs> GG, boys and girls. GG. All right, here we go in Landing Craft by R Racing Liam. Ported over by Sergeant Sparkles and Dark Guardian. Thank you, Duffy. Thank you, guys. Hello. Feeling the Hello, love. Guys. Binky, no. Um, Hi. You're not, you don't get a talk, I'm sorry. We're recording. Sorry, Binky, okay. All right, let's, God, it's so hard. I'm so, I'm even more distracted for build competitions because I have a whole other screen up with all the information on the builds. This one being from Racing Liam and it being called Landed Craft. And then when you got, oh man, then I have my kids running around and then I'm supposed to drive these art builds in combat. So just bear with me. Bear with me. This thing, though, I love that it has, like, big swamp boggy fan things uh, on the back here. This is great. Let's get Sandra. I thought they changed it so you could drive through turrets. Or at least that's something that's supposedly coming soon. So they no longer stop you like you hit a telephone pole made of concrete, titanium, and adamantium. Hopefully, that's the thing. Good barrier placement there, friendo. Do appreciate that helping out my turrets we got a kill all i had to do was click two buttons that's nice i need to do meat grinders more i really do i really really do okay let's see what we can do let's see what we can do um, okay all right all right all right we need all right we're ready do, do, do. there's a lot of baddies right there so Boom, boom. This guy's going to drop his shield. We're going to drop our turrets. And we're going to just back out of town. Can we drop another grenadier? Yes, we can. Get in there, guys. Do your little thing. Do it. Do it. We'll take an assist. We're happy with it. Um, this one's going to be close. This one's going to be close. Pinky, get some help. All right, come on, guys. Can we do this? we got to stay as a team. We gotta team this up. Okay, I'm gonna be useless for the next 30 seconds now, which is kinda sucky. Uh, let's see what we can do. Alright, come on. Come on, stick with the team, G. Stick with the team. Look at us going diagonally. Yeah. Yeah. Meat grinders for the win. Okay. I love that the Soviet Union actually built something like this. Alright, we're gonna go for this guy. We're gonna gonna go I'm gonna know I'm waiting I feel like, yeah okay these two we got to get these guys let's go 
Let's go, 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 go. Okay, here we go. Let's go say hello to our little friends. Hey, buddy. Those are for you. And that's the win for us. All right, here we go. An APC Reaper by French Toad. And I picked this one up because it has a Reaper, and I used to love the Reaper. It was absolutely one of my favorite weapons, and then I just, they nerfed it, and I really stopped using it. So I was like, French Toad built this thing, and I'm like, hey, it's got a Reaper in it. And what? And a, and a pyre? And another pyre? Should have put those on the same key. Interesting. Didn't realize it had pyres on it. Let's, uh, okay, let's stick with the team. Let's see what these guys are doing. Come on. Come on, Dilbo Biggins. That's, that's a fantastic name, friend. <laughs> it's just an absolutely great name. Right. We're gonna just Reaper this guy while the Pyres bring it home. There it is. There it is. Is this build actually working? It's a functional build. Guys, build me something that functions and looks pretty. Nicely done, Toad. Boop, boop. Let's just double tap that. Too bad we lost the lock on that. Usually I don't like using weapons that are totally different together, but the Pyre is one of those ones that, depending on the combination, you can find some neat combos with it. Pyre Cricket, Pyre Fat Man. There's some cool combos you can do. This guy. We need to deal with this guy right now. There we go. He's done. Let's go get Tank Bro. No, maybe the guy blowing us up right next to us. Yeah, let's shoot the... F this isn't ending well. GG, boys. All right, guys. Here we go in M1A2 SCP Abrams. This thing by Omega Angel, a.k.a. Skull606. And this thing is absolutely gorgeous. Um... Okay, we should have let the Tsunami charge a little bit more. So we got a Tsunami on right click. We got an Arbiter and a Vector on left click. She looks like she's a little heavy in the tonnage, so... She's going a little bit slow. I should be over there on A. I don't know what I'm doing over here. Well, I'm reading the description of the build is what I'm doing. So... Don't judge me. Oh, great. Are we gonna really... No! I mean, this just... Get the spark, at least. Get this... No. Can we... Can... Come on. Come on. Oh, sucks. So sucky. It's... Oh, my God. Can we... Hit him with the tsunami, at least. Come on. Come on. Brap. Get him with the minigun on there. Take the kill. We will take it. Great. This guy. Nope. Tiny Tim. Tim. Oh my god. No. 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 <laughs> GG, boys. God. Oh, you are. So here we go in Gia Ford Pygmy 40 by Gianism, obviously, because it's just... The coolest looking World War II Willy's Jeep ever. Um, even has a steering wheel. Of course it does. Jeanism Bill, what do you think of this baby Jeep? Baby G, you're throwing stuff at me. Don't, don't do that. Oh my goodness. You little troublemaker. Ah uh, yes, the Cobra Turret. The weapon of choice for art builds since 2016. I don't care. Why am I driving into the enemy? What? I don't. I agree, Baby G. That's not a good choice on my part. Are you blasting me with shooter guns? Oh my goodness! My goodness! Oh no! I need these turrets ready to help my friend here. I need them ready. Oh dear! Oh dear! Oh dear! Oh dear! Oh dear! Oh dear! Oh dear. Ready up! Let's get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Come on, little Cobra turrets! Help out a bro! How about a bro? I'm just gonna distract him. Come over here. Get him. Get him. There we go. We got the kill, baby G. Are you still throwing stuff at me? Oh my god. You're supposed to... What are you doing? 
She's out of control, this one, you guys. She's out of control. Mr. Exceptional. Great name. We will take the win. Okay, here we go with Breakout Ops by Goliath Gamer, and I got Baby G in here in the studio. Um, just to add an extra element of challenge, she's uh, throwing balls at me while I play. So we'll see how we do. What does this thing have? Is it a so it's like uh, some close range and some, oh god, and some long range. That's okay. All right. Uh, we picked this thing just because it looked cool and something like the Soviets would build. And where'd that guy go? We're not going to catch him. Not with these wheels. Remember when these were the best wheels you could get in the game? God, I do. It was a long time ago. I've been playing this game for too long. Can we get him? Can we use our mid-range stuff here? Can we do it? We just got a kill in this thing? That's that's kind of impressive. Kind of impressive. The firing angles are a bit of a struggle. We'll take an assist. Should we go get Tusk Boy here? Tusk Guy. I'm struggling with the different weapon heats and firing speeds on these. But we, I, we should be able to get Tusk Guy. Can we ignore shotgun guy up there with the bastion? You know what? We'll grab a kill steal on that guy. We sure can. Baby G, don't you? Don't. No, Baby G. Don't do it. Okay. All right. All right. All right. No. I'm gonna. I'm gonna get the MVP. Dad needs MVP. Baby G. You need it in a build that shouldn't get MVP, but can this just blow up, man? Oh, he's detonating. Is he detonating? Well, that's three. We will tell. What did you find? How did you find the one toy in here that makes noise? All right, guys. Last but not least, we're gonna do the Leviathan section. If you're hearing weird background sounds, well, that's simply because Baby G found a really old electronic Batman car that no longer can make appropriate sounds, and she's also pretending to be a cat. So, we got the IS-4, which looks like a okay, IS-4 Russian, Russian heavy tank, and actually drives pretty decently. So, cool use of Leviathan stuff on that one, Neem Tempest. I dig it. Let's take a look at the next Leviathan. We got USS Monstro by Toxic Insanity, and this is a US... Wow, yes, baby G. It's a US Boomer submarine. It's like a missile sub. So that's cool. Yup. She likes to be a cat sometimes. And you know what? So you're gonna you're gonna get to enjoy cute cat sounds to the sound. Look at this. Just I love this is cool. Okay, I love this. I do love this. Next one we've got is Trench Crawler. I think uh, Sergeant Sparkles was going for that uh, British Thank you, baby G. British World War One tank. And she's not dying, that's a that's actually a happy sound. You, what did you see in there? You see a racer ball. Okay, fair enough. Oh yeah. How did? How did? Why is this? This? Oh, it's a soccer ball from the Steel Challenge event thing. And they put it in the test drive. That is hilarious. I didn't even notice that, baby G. Good observation. And last but not least, we got Missile Cruiser. This one coming from Berkey Turkey. Yep. And babe, maybe a little quieter, baby G. Little. That's the opposite. This is my life. Okay, this thing's actually pretty cool. I saw it. Yes, you saw it. Yes. Yeah, there it is. There's the ball. Absolutely. So I'm gonna wrap this up and go do dad stuff. But before I do that, I've got to pick a winner. So let's recap these builds. We have the T95. We this cool. Oh, I love the ducks in this one, man. The ducks on this one. God, really. I actually thought this was running the Echo Cab, but it's not. It just uses all the parts. This Harrier was really awesome to fly. Fun to play. We got this A39 Tortoise, very Russian style tank. We got DG Seawolf. Oh, this is the twins. We got Spitfires. 
This was a really hard one to pick. This landing craft was fun to drive. This guy was pretty simple, but actually worked with the weapon setup. We have this Abrams. I mean, just cool the way the tsunami is just buried in there. We got an awesome Willy's Jeep thing going on right here. We got this thing, which was also fun to drive. And then all the Levi's, which we just covered. But I got to pick one winner. And, I, you know, I'm going to go with... Oh, I was between really two. because I'm going to go honorable mention to A39 Tortoise. So, you man, you were, I really was good. I was torn between that one and the M1A2 SCP Abrams. This Abrams is just... It's wicked cool. I dig it. I love it. And who made that one? That's coming from Omega Angel. So Omega Angel, you won yourself uh, a Steam Key and the title of Winner Winner Chicken Dinner. If you win an Art of Steel build challenge uh, and get Master Builder on the Discord, you get uh, Triple Crown as well. So please DM myself or one of the channel moderators on the Discord for your prize. And guys, thank you very, very much for doing these builds. Um, I, I love these builds, and I couldn't have this YouTube channel without your support. Thank you guys so much. Uh, like and subscribe for more of these build competitions, and a special thank you to Sergeant Sparkles and all of the helping hands that help port these builds over. Y'all be good. I'm going to catch you guys later. Mr. G out. It's like a perfect landing.